Mike Hosking Breakfast, six to nine weekdays on News Talks FB. You know, there confusion at the northern border. There was your headline, confusion at the northern border. Uh, it was, in fact, relevant to yesterday. Could have been any other time, though, when we have some sort of lockdown. New headline, old story, basically. In other words, how long does it take to be able to roll out any sort of plan in this country? Why is it, given this is far from the first time we've dealt with lockdown issues, that we still have the same rinse and repeat shambles? School yesterday, for example, wasn't all that slick at our house. Last lockdown, they ran a sensational system. In fact, our daughter did vastly more work online than she ever does in the classroom, and yet yesterday teachers were flummoxed, taken by surprise. Tech wasn't synced or linked or whatever the terminology is. Why not? You did it once, why not roll it out again? Did no one expect there would not be some sort of disruption this year? I heard a chat with David Skegg, one of my favourite health experts, and yet another voice that lines up a series of measures we don't do, haven't done, probably never will do, that would make life here under COVID a lot safer. He was talking about testing our border workers. Hmm, testing our border workers. Now, where have I heard that before? I know, last time we had a mess like this. No one seems to join the dots that if we got our act together, uh, when we get locked down, things could roll out more smoothly. School would work, the border north and south of any given area would be smooth and easy. And if we got our act together in other areas, we might not get locked down as often as we do. It's not entirely unique to us, of course, a lot of growing calls in Australia to get returnees out of main centres, a lot of calls to tighten up MIQ. What I hadn't gathered until I heard Skeg was the woman at the centre of this particular case this time wasn't at work the day they test. And given they only test once a fortnight, I mean, once again, good question, why, oh, why, only every 14 days, she wasn't there at work, so she wasn't tested for a month. Why aren't we doing saliva tests? It's the same old thing. All the stuff that Hippocrates, Adern and Bloomfield say work doesn't. All the experts that offer advice for things that will never happen, all the stuff we should know, like the back of our hand, takes us by surprise. Am I the only one finding Groundhog Day, one, needless, and two, draining, due to the fact that failing to learn is an indictment on our intelligence and desire to be better. Why don't we want to be better? The Mike Hosking Breakfast, 6 to 9 weekdays on News Talks FB.